My name is Ebrony and I'm living a simple life amongst the tropical mountains of North Queensland, Australia. I spend my days cultivating a life around my passions and my dreams, most of which are rooted in the fascinating world of plants. In my spare time, I love to explore the beauty of the place that I'm so blessed to call home. Capturing the magic of the world around me has always been a passion of mine, but I could never find enough time to put my heart into it. Being a passionate person, I often take on a lot of creative projects at once, which used to be quite overwhelming when I worked a job. Working all the time left me exhausted with little time to focus on the things that brought me joy. But the closer I came to nature, the more I felt connected to myself. As all the white noise of everything unnecessary grew quieter, I began to notice that it was becoming easier to listen to my heart. And my heart was calling for a life like this. Since I've had more time to give to our luscious home, as well as with the current state of the world, the drive to grow my own food is greater than ever. Growing up, I was not taught much about plants, so this world of plants is still new to me. I was introduced to growing plants when I got a job in a native tree nursery reforesting the local area back in 2016. Since then, I've learnt that the art of growing plants will in turn make you grow too. I have found plants to be amongst the greatest of teachers. A plant's growth allows one to develop patience and an ability to be able to learn and see from a plant's perspective. This journey has been the most fascinating and the most rewarding yet. When one puts love and time into growing plants, even the smallest thing like new growth or a flower opening can bring the greatest excitement in a world where overstimulation is the new normal, growing plants brings us back to our most basic senses and it helps us to develop awareness of even the most subtle changes in our environments.
I think I chose a pretty good day to get started on the veggie patch. It's been ridiculously hot these past few days and we've had some pretty good storms, but today's been pretty overcast so far. It's just, yeah, not really deciding whether it wants to rain or stay sunny, but either way, it's a lot cooler today than it has been the past few days. So I'm just gonna get as much done as I can today before the heat comes back. that I've grown to realize living in this tropical climate is that the rain clouds are never far off. The wet season in 2021 felt like it was never going to end. Usually the wet season will come to an end during autumn and well before winter, but last year was different. Autumn came and went, but the rain decided to stay. With the rain set in, we had no choice but to continue on like normal. At least all the gardens were getting plenty of water. But then there are other challenges like keeping the house dry and making sure the mold doesn't take over. Despite the fact that the clouds never broke much sunshine, I still love the rain. I'm grateful for the rain as it nourishes the surrounding rainforests, cleaning freshwater creeks and washing everything anew once more.
Well, Penny, I think we've done a pretty good job so far. Hmm. I think it's time to move on to bed number three. So this video was mostly filmed a year ago in March 2021. I've spent the past year compiling this video together and deciding whether or not to go ahead and post it. I often hold very high expectations of myself to get everything right or to make everything as perfect as possible before finalizing it, but I've come to realize that in trying to perfect all the little details, I was wasting precious time making beautiful new memories and driving myself crazy to perfect that which is already so beautifully imperfect. So that is one half of the veggie patch done and ready for some weed mat and veggies. I'm just looking at the sky. I have a feeling it's going to be very beautiful this afternoon. So I might just head inside and grab some water and the drone just to make sure that I'm ready for whenever I need it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below on what you thought of the video and what resonated with you. Wherever you may be in the world, I hope you have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.